New WCW Champion Randy Savage opened the show after pinning Nash in the Bash at the Beach Tag Main event last night. Savage said that Nash couldn't handle the madness, challenging anybody on the roster but Nash to a WCW title match tonight. Moments later the Jimi Hendrix guitar was heard as Hollywood Hogan made his return to a big reaction. Hogan asked Gene if he's hearing things or did Macho say anybody? With Savage immediately saying that a mistake was made as he forgot to mention it's anybody but Nash and Hogan. Hogan said that it's too late with the match booked, as Savage told him that he's gonna beat him and get him the hell out of here for good tonight. Setting up a big Savage vs Hogan title match in the main event. WCW's other promoted match for tonight was set to start at 9 p.m. in the crossover segment with Ric Flair vs. Steen Malenko. The entrances took place minutes before 9, with Eric Bischoff also coming out for commentary, set to be involved in several angles and to hype the Hogan Savage match throughout the show. Flair called security to remove Benoit and Saturn from ringside, while putting Robinson as the referee. Flair and Malenko went 9 minutes with Robinson calling it and awarding Flair the match after Dean reversed the figure 4, with Anderson and Flair attacking him post-match bringing out Sting for the save. Sting said that 10 years ago Flair was holding back people with him on top, and 10 years later he's still here in the same position, challenging Flair to put control of the company on the line in a match. Flair responded that he's still here because he's the man and the boss, and the match is not happening but said that it's about time another Flair beat him up, booking Sting vs David for the control match against Trick. The flair Malenko match along with the Sting-Flair segment maintained better than usual starting with a 3.5 opening quarter rating against a big star power segment on Raw, with the 3.5 to 4.7 gap of 1.2 rating points the closest in over a month. Coming off the big news of Jesse Ventura signing a deal with McMahon for an appearance at the SummerSlam pay-per-view, Raw opened with Steve Austin out for the fully loaded contract signing, bringing out Vince on a wheelchair after a legit tailbone injury suffered in a motorcycle accident on July 4, with JR and Vince himself both acknowledging the situation to the mass audience on air. Vince said that no accident would keep him from coming out tonight and signing the contract but telling Austin to sign at first, stalling with the signing until the lights went out and Taker tacked him from behind, with Vince pulling up a fountain pen and signing the contract in Austin's blood. After the relatively close first quarter, there was a direct million viewers turnover as WCW dropped to a 2.7, while Raw picked up to a 5.5. WCW had Kidman vs Regal going 11 minutes, with Kidman almost injuring himself after a missed shooting star press that saw him landing on the ropes, with Eric counting the fall for the Kidman win. Raw had the first brood match with Edge vs Gangrel after turning on Edge last night on Heat going six minutes until both ended on stage with Edge pushed to the fire pit. JR and King hyped the Ventura announcement big throughout the night, promoting a big Summer Slam press conference to air on the company website on Wednesday, with every major player in the company set to attend with JR announcing that Ventura and McMahon, Rock, Austin, Taker, DX etc. are all going to be at the event. Starting anticipation for Governor Ventura's first response promo back after public feuds with Vince Hogan and Bischoff. With him and Hogan trading shots for years, and Eric cutting a shoot promo on him just a few weeks ago on Nitro in May. With business booming and both now at a peak, McMahon and Ventura put personal issues aside with the company targeting big mainstream exposure and a huge Summer Slam pay-per-view.
Sting vs David Flair ended up with Sting fighting off Flair's crew with him having the match won several times, leading to Eric on commentary saying that after talks with TNT management, the Sting vs Ric Flair match for control of the company is officially booked for next week, with Eric also announcing that Dennis Rodman will be on Nitro next Monday. After trying to stop the blood for the last 30 minutes, Steve Austin ran to the ring during a Jarrett promo, giving him a stunner and calling out Taker for a no rules anything goes match tonight. Show came out saying that it's gonna be 2 on 1 anyway so make it 2 on 2 with Austin and Show against Taker and Kane for later. With Austin coming back to give Jarrett another stunner with talks of a possible mini program between them. WCW presented the Hardcore Trophy to Fit Finley after winning the Junkyard match last night and one of the most brutal matches in company history that saw several of the participants ending up in the hospital. The peak quarter of the night came at the top of the hour, scheduled for a Kane and DX six-man tag match. The lights went out with Kane not showing up, with Rock coming out to a huge pop to start the match, jumping over 1.2 million viewers to a 6.7 rating ending up with Rock pinning Billy Gunn to win the match, coming 24 hours after Rock cut the all-time memorable promo on Heat with Billy talking to God. The wrestling industry continues its unprecedented dominance on cable television, with the latest TV charts from the end of March to the end of June, showing that 26 out of the 30 highest rated hours were all WWF and WCW shows. To go along with that, the WWF's corporate website released the raw average rating month by month, showing 2.4 in March 97. 3.8 in March 98 and 6.3 in March 99, an unheard of 166% increase over two years. Next on WCW was Dallas Page vs Booker, going against an Al Snow vs Draws hardcore match, Mark Henry and Dillo leaving the building after the doctor told Henry to lose weight with his blood pressure too high, along with the big shot Bob Holly coming out attempting to take out the acolytes by himself and comically slapping Bradshaw before getting beaten down with show bailing him out. WCW's last 40 minutes of the show saw two long matches picking up big, first was Booker vs Page going 16 minutes, with Bigelow and Canyon attacking Booker post-match leading to Stevie Ray to make the save as the crowd started a big Harlem Heat chant, along with the entrances of Savage and Hogan with the show having around 25 minutes left, picking up to a 3.7 rating going against it was Test in a gauntlet match against the Posse, ending up with him dominating until a Shane run in, bringing out Stephanie with Shane accidentally elbowing her in a well-executed spot that saw the crowd gasp in unison. After over two hours of hype, Savage and Hogan walked to the ring at around 10.40, going 14 minutes in the main event. In the last decade, Hogan vs Savage was as close to a guaranteed drawing boost as anything in the history of the business, with them set for their last ever match, picking up big with over 1.5 million viewers over two quarters to a 4.7 rating, WCW's highest rating since April. With Hogan going over after Nash's interference to win the belt in his first match back, Just before Raw's main event, a countdown to the Millennium Timer appeared with 671 hours to go, building anticipation to the reveal with the clock set to expire on Monday August 9th at around 10pm. 
Austin and show against Undertaker and Kane in their first match back closed the show in a wild brawl all over the arena, going 10 minutes with Austin and White going over. Post-match segment on Nitro saw Nash take the microphone telling Hogan that now is the second time he handed him the belt, challenging him to finally deliver the Hogan vs Nash match, saying that this time there would be no lay down, with Hogan agreeing to set it up. With WCW overall doing a 3.5 rating to Raw 6, the closest head-to-head -head margin since April. The Raw tag match brawl continued in the overrun going six minutes including the final minute unopposed to pick up around a million viewers to a 7.2 rating peak, with Austin bleeding again in the build-up to the fully loaded match.